Hey guys, how's it going? Richard here from Alien Bros. I have an amazing UFO sighting I want to share with you tonight. This one has got me totally stumped. This sighting was reported to move on, and I have to say, it is one of the best I've seen in a long time. The witness took two pictures and two videos, which I'm showing you one of them right now, and the images simply just blow my mind. Not so much this one, but the next one, which I'm about to show you. But before I show it to you, let me give you a little bit of detail on the witness. So, the witness saw this in Cheltenham, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, and reported encountering a hovering orb that appeared to render both the witness and the witness's dog motionless. The witness was outside walking a large, super high-energy Chesapeake Bay Retriever at about 6.30 p.m. on January 9, 2017. That's when this incident occurred. However, the incident was not reported to move on until October 20th. Anyway, the witness stated that a few minutes into our walk, she just suddenly sat down and would not move. She's talking about the dog. The witness stated, this is completely unlike her, and it was then I realized she was looking up into the sky at something, and as soon as I looked up, I was suddenly mesmerized by this glowing stationary orb-like object that she was looking at as well. In this image, we get a much clearer zoomed-in shot of the object. Although the surroundings are a bit more blurry, the object itself is obviously more in focus, and you can see clearly that it's some sort of spear, and it's lighting up the clouds around it, and it looks to have some kind of light strip on the outside of it around the edge. Clearly this is no plane. No plane would look like this. This is just a glowing spherical white ball in the sky with a kind of bluish tint to it, maybe I would say. I'm not sure if that's the clouds causing it or if that's the object itself. Anyway, the witness had said that they had never seen anything like this object before either. And the witness also stated that they have worked in aviation and with many airlines. And I know this object was not anything like what I have ever seen or experienced in my career or life up until tonight. I know this is a UFO. I can't explain it, but judging by the physical and emotionally overwhelming reaction that I felt during the sighting, I just knew. After several minutes, my dog nudged me to go back inside, but I just couldn't. The witness then recalled having a phone and said they took some videos and pictures. And as soon as I began recording, I suddenly saw two other lights in the sky, both of which I believed may have been commercial airliners, in addition to the initial object. However, the original orb I saw continued to hover in the same position while the other two were following what looked like normal flight paths. Then suddenly, one of the commercial planes made a strange maneuver that seemed very abrupt and maybe intentional, due to how awkward the angle was that the aircraft turned toward the object in question and seemed to have intentionally crossed into the area where the orb was that I had seen initially. It was at that moment that the orb started to slowly move backwards as if it were a car that were in reverse and disappeared into the clouds. The unknown object of interest appeared to be pulsing and blinking about once each second. A pulsing light appeared to be caused by a light associated with the object. The light did not appear to be that of a typical aircraft strobe. The object moved slowly under the cloud base for several minutes before suddenly moving upward and into the above clouds, not to be seen again by the witness. The witness stated that she had worked in the aviation field with several airline companies and is very familiar with these sorts of aircraft and would be able to tell and distinguish an airplane or any other normal aircraft from what she saw which she could not identify. I gotta say, this is a phenomenal sighting, it really is amazing. I mean, when you guys see the video, it'll just make it even better for you. Uh, seriously though, I have no idea what I'm looking at in this image. It, it's honestly pretty cool to look at. It looks pretty cool, even though it's a bit uh, blurred around it, but the object is the clearest that it is in any of the photos in this image. And I really just don't know what that is. It's not a drone. There's no way. It's not a plane. Definitely, planes aren't, you know, spherical, and they don't glow like that. And, uh, yeah, I'm just really not sure what it is I'm looking at. And not only is the footage breathtaking, but the person who took the images has experience working in the airline industry, which only adds to their credibility. And pilots see UFOs all the time, although most of them won't report them due to fears of being deemed unfit to fly and losing their jobs. It seems their supervisors don't like receiving these reports, and the last thing I guess any air traffic controller would like to hear is, do you have any traffic for me up here? 
And although these reports do happen sometimes, not frequently, but they do happen, there was actually a pilot that ran a YouTube channel anonymously called Two Force, which was T-U-F-O-R-C, all capitals, where he posted these UFOs that he would see while flying all the time, and eventually his supervisor figured out it was him who ran the channel, and then forced him to delete it. Another extraordinary example I would like to draw your attention to is the incident of Japan Airlines, which happened on November 17th of 1986, where flight number 1628, which was a Boeing 747 cargo freighter, was flying over Alaska en route to Narita, Tokyo. The pilot was Captain Kenju Terouchi, an ex-fighter pilot with 10,000 hours of flight experience. On board with him was co-pilot Takanori Tamafuji and flight engineer Yoshio Tsukuba. After entering Alaskan airspace shortly after 5 p.m., Captain Teruchi witnessed two lights in the distance managing to keep up with their plane. They appeared to be standing still from inside the cockpit. Tamafuji then radioed into Anchorage Air Center in Alaska to ask if there was any traffic for them in the area. They responded saying there was not. After about 10 minutes, the objects darted in front of the plane. Though Terauchi called them crap, he saw only two dark vertical bars, each with five rows of bright amber colored lights. Terauchi was able to feel the heat from the object inside the cockpit. The objects themselves were large and about the size of a Douglas DC-8 jet. What you're looking at now is some rough sketches of the objects that he made. Tsukuba picked up the objects on the plane's weather radar system and its movements matched perfectly with that of what the crew was seeing. The lights appeared to be horizontally elongated and anchored to a much larger object which Teruuchi called the mothership. The mothership was silhouetted against the dark eastern sky and none of them could make out any details of the craft, only that it was walnut shaped with a wide rim around the circumference of it. The object then appeared on radar at Elmendorf Air Force Base and the operator watched as the craft maneuvered around flight 1628 at the exact time and manner that Teruuchi had described seeing the object. The FAA continued to monitor this aircraft until it eventually disappeared. The CIA and other three-letter agencies decided to get involved with this as well. They were very concerned over it. And once grounded, Teruuchi and his crew filed a report with the FAA and they were interviewed extensively. As I said earlier, Teruuchi made some sketches, one of which you're seeing in this image that he is holding. And once the press broke the story, Teruuchi was grounded by Japan Airlines and deemed unfit to fly. These sorts of cases are the reasons that pilots normally won't report a UFO if they see one while they're flying. It will cost them their job, and that simply isn't worth it to them. Now getting back to the sighting we were talking about earlier, I'm going to play for you now the two video clips that were taken by the witness. Be sure to let us know what you guys think this object is down in the comments. We love to hear your theories and opinions. We have just been completely stumped trying to figure out what this thing could possibly be. I mean, it's definitely nothing that I am able to identify. If any of you happen to have seen the same object, if you were in the area, then you have some footage of it or something, then definitely let us know. Maybe we could show it on the channel as well and we could try to get this object, you know, figured out, figure out what this thing could possibly be. Anyway guys, so here's the two videos.
Well there you have it guys. The best part about this footage in my opinion is that you can see the two airplanes flying away from the object and I'm willing to bet that the pilot saw it. It also seems to have this weird greenish glow to part of it too and I just don't know what it could possibly be. I'm seriously stumped. And the picture that the witness got over here is great but it doesn't show the greenish glow but in the video you can clearly see it. And it just makes it even harder for me to figure out what the stagnant greenish glowing orb could possibly be. The fact that the orb was just so large in comparison to its surroundings in the clouds and how it just hovered there in one spot before disappearing, it's what's making it so hard for me because I have no idea what earthly craft could possibly pull that off. Again, let us know what you guys think. We really would love to hear your opinions on this. We really love your help. You can clearly see it is not in the shape of any sort of terrestrial aircraft that I'm aware of at least. Maybe you guys know of something that I don't. But as far as this goes, I have no idea what this thing could be. So if you guys could help us out and leave your comments on what you think it could be down in the description, we'd really appreciate it. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it, but stay tuned because there is a lot more coming and we will have it posted very soon. If you like the video, then please don't forget to smash that like button on your way out, share it, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. It really helps us out and it'll let you guys stay up to date by sending you a message straight to your inbox every time we upload a new video and that'll let you stay on the up and up with all the latest alternative news. If you have some UFO footage or evidence that you would like us to feature on the channel, then please email it over to us. Our email is down in the description and we will get back to you as soon as possible thank you for your support we really do appreciate you guys and don't forget to browse the channel if you're new and get yourself up to speed as always I'm Richard from alien bros and I'll see you guys again next video